We'll start this one with question 22, but let's refer back to 21. We completed problem 21 with some synthetic division showing that we had factors, going to do some repeated synthetic division so we could get it down to our quadratic. And once you have that quadratic, you can factor. And the goal was to find these remaining factors and then enlist those and then write it in completely factored form using the x plus 2 and the x minus 4, listing the zeros and then graphing. This is the exact same type of problem. You're going to do the exact same thing. So first thing is to show that x minus 4 is a factor. We finish the synthetic, synthetic division. Show that x plus 2 is a factor. Finish the synthetic division, both remainders of zero, but neither of these gave me my, my quadratic. So I have to go to the side and do repeated synthetic divisions so I can get it down to my quadratic. And when I'm down to my quadratic, I am happy because I can always finish up that quadratic, either with the quadratic formula or by factoring. It factors into x minus 5 times x plus 1, because negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5, and negative 5 plus negative 1 is negative 6. So here are the remaining factors that we obtained from that quadratic. So we listed those. When we're listing something, we use a comma. This says completely factored form. We don't use commas. We list all four factors. And then finally, the zeros that came from each factor, four zeros. And then finally, you can graph it on your calculator to see which of these graphs represent that function. Okay, going to the next page, 23 and 24 are using practice using the quadratic formula. So we did that many times in class, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got the formula here written down, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. And so 23 and 24 is practicing using the quadratic formula. Once you decide, not decide, once you pick up the values of a, b, and c, remember they're just constants, there are no x's involved, place them within the formula Watch your arithmetic, do some simplifying, you get your two answers. So do it, check your work with what I have here. 24 quadratic formula again, recognize, whoops, recognize the values of A, B, and C, 2, negative 7, and 1, place them in the formula, do some simplifying, and then write your two answers. It says as a comma separated list, so you got to write that as a comma, write a comma between those. Now let's look at these. We want to find all the solutions are all the zeros and they don't give you a starting point. Our starting point on all of these will be go to your calculator first, go to your table to find any zeros, then we're going to use synthetic division to get it down to a quadratic. Once you have the quadratic, you are home free. So take a second, put that one in your calculator. Okay, when we look at our calculator, we will go uh, put it under y equals, then take a look at the table and I noticed automatically I got two, I've got two zeros, one at negative five and one at negative two. Remember, you're looking for a zero in the y position. So this is going to get me started. All I need is these two to get started because let's look back at this. It's a fourth degree polynomial. There are going to be four zeros. I've got two from the calculator which means there's only two left to find, and that means I've got a quadratic. All right, so what were those two guys from the calculator? Negative five and negative 
2. Okay, so the 2 from the calculator were negative 5 and negative 2. Now let's do some synthetic division to get it down to the quadratic. So I've got it set up right here. We're going to put in negative 5. I should get a remainder of 0. And I do. All right, because 5 was a 0. Now let's divide by the other one using repeated synthetic division because my goal is to get it down to the quadratic. See, this result is a cubic third degree. One more division will get me down, <coughs> excuse me, to a <coughs> second degree. So let's see. Do, do, do. Yes. Okay. Notice how many terms are left down here. This will be x squared plus 3x minus 7. There is my quadratic. So start on your calculator. Get as many as you can from your calculator. Then do repeated synthetic divisions to get it down to a quadratic. This quadratic is not going to factor, so we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. Work on that. Okay, so with the repeated synthetic divisions, negative 5, remainder of 0, negative 2, remainder of 0, <clears throat> quadratic that doesn't factor, so when we use the quadratic formula, we should get 3 plus or minus the square root of 37 over 2. So when I list my zeros separated by commas, I've got my first zero of negative 5, then negative 2, 3 plus the square root of 37 over 2, and 3 minus the square root of 37 over 2. Those are my four zeros. So we can write those here, negative 5, negative 2, and then the other two guys that I had listed. Okay, 26, get started. I'm looking for three zeros. I'm going to go to my calculator. Then I'm going to look at the table, see what I can get from the table. Then I'll use synthetic division to get down to my quadratic. So start off on your calculator. Okay, so did you put it in your calculator? You know we're trying to find three zeros. From the calculator, I get a zero of three. Perfect. Because I'm trying to find three zeros, and if I already, if I can find one, that means there's only two left, and that means they'll come from the quadratic. So let's do some synthetic division so we can get our quadratic. Okay, so we're going to divide, take that polynomial, divide them by three, because that was the zero from our calculator. Doing the synthetic division, we get a remainder of zero. We knew that was going to happen, and voila, we have our quadratic. 3x squared minus 10x plus 3. Now, to finish this off, we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. So, let's work on that. You work on that as well. So, we had that quadratic. I decided it wasn't going to factor, so I said, let's go into the quadratic formula. But guess what we find out? When we put our values into the quadratic formula, we end up with a square root of 64, which is a perfect square. When that square root goes away, that tells me this problem originally would have factored. Doesn't matter. I can still get my two answers. I'll break it up into 10 plus 8 over 6, so 18 over 6, 10 minus 8 over 6, which would be 2 over 6, reduces to 3, reduces to 1 third. So I have all my zeros. From here, uh, from the table, I had 3. From the quadratic formula, I get another 3 and a 1 third. Degree was three, we were looking for three zeros, and we have them. 
Now, it just so happened that this value of 3 has a multiplicity of 2. I didn't notice that. Uh, I didn't know that going into the problem, but I would have if I looked at the graph. Let's check out the graph. Notice what happens here at the 0 of 3. It's bouncing. That tells me its multiplicity is an even number. So the 0 of 3 occurs an even number of times. In this case, it's going to occur twice because my total number of zeros was 3. So we got this 0 at 1 3rd. We've got this one at 3, and it has multiplicity of 2. So let's go back to the other sheet. So we're going to list our zeros as a comma-separated list. So we found 3 from the table, 3 from the quadratic formula, and 1 third from the quadratic formula. Okay, last problem. Do the same thing with 27. Go to your calculator. Get anything you can from the table. Use synthetic division to get it down to a quadratic. So work on that. And let's see if we get the same values. So let's see what you found from your calculator. I found, when I type that in under y equals, I found a total of two zeros from my table. Remember, we're looking for four. Two's from the table, which means we have two left to find, which means we've got a quadratic we can work with. The goal is to get it down to a second degree. All right, so we're going to do some synthetic division with the negative three and the one. So let's start with the negative three. So I'm going to drop that four. Hmm. Okay, I just figured out my mistake. I had a 4 as my front coefficient, and it should have been a 1. Things were not working out, so I knew I made a mistake somewhere. All right, dropping the 1 for synthetic division. Negative 3 times 1 would be negative 3. This should work out a lot better. Negative, that would be a negative 9, so that would give me a negative 3. Uh, that would be a 9 here. Ooh, is that still not working out? Pause. Arr, found my mistake. I can't add or subtract. All right, negative 9 and 3 is a negative 6. Okay, negative 3 times negative 6 would be a positive 18. That's going to give me a 2. Finally, negative 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, remainder of 0. Whew, that was brutal. So easy to make careless mistakes. Sorry about that. But... When I saw what the remainder wasn't going to be zero, I knew I made a mistake somewhere. So that's a good check. Now let's divide by the second zero of one. So let's see if this is going to work out a little bit better. That's a negative two, negative two, zero. Yay, that was a lot, a lot easier. Not as brutal. Okay, so we got our quadratic, right? There we are x squared plus 4x minus 2 equals 0. He will not factor, so let's check out the quadratic formula. Pause it. You do it. I'm going to do it. Let's see what we get. I'm almost out of time on this video, so I'm going to go quick. Here's the result from the quadratic formula. I got a 24. I had to reduce him to a 2 square root of 6 and then reduced with in this, these three green values. Shit. Where did you go? Oh. Okay, so the four, the two, and the two get reduced by two. All the solutions, there's four. The degree was four. I've got four solutions. Negative three, one. Negative two plus the square root of six. Negative two minus the square root of six. There are the answers. Done. End of video.